Hello and thank you for joining me today. We are doing another manga haul, specifically secondhand manga. I really do enjoy doing secondhand manga hauls because it's always interesting to see what the condition is in comparison to how much I've spent on it. So it's absolutely wonderful when I pay like two pounds fifty for a volume and it looks brand new. Love doing that. That's why I, these are some of my favourite hauls. This is actually the last of three hauls that I am filming back to back. If you haven't checked out the other two, be sure to do so. In fact, you can actually see them stacked behind me at the moment. There is a pre-order new release haul and a Forbidden Planet slash Travelling Man haul. They, so this is, my plan is this is the last one to go up of the three, so they'll already be up. Be sure to go check them out. I'll put a link somewhere if you haven't seen them already. Some really good stuff in those hauls, but yes, today's point of interest is second hand. So most of these volumes come came from World of Books. I was it was crazy. I ordered them I think on a Monday evening and they'd arrived Wednesday. It was less than two days, which goodness me. Not all of them are World of Books, there is some music pack pie and I think there's one from somewhere else. But I'll talk about it when I get to them. Let's just open them and see what manga we've got. So let's go for this one first, which is packed a little weirdly, they're like, the manga's fallen inside. So first we have got Orisama Teacher Volume 16. This is a series I'm buying what I can find secondhand, because it's quite a long series. Do I have oh, they're just they're just here, you can't quite fully see them. So I've got one, two, three, six, seven, eight nine and now 16. This definitely looks red, the edges are curling up quite a bit and the sort of top level plastic layer on the cover is peeling a little but otherwise it doesn't look too bad. I feel the current lighting isn't going to help you at home tell if it's yellowed or white. It's not too bad it's definitely slightly yellowed, but I would expect that from a manga. How old is this volume in particular? 2014. Yeah, I'd have expected slight yellowing anyway, so not too bothered. Let's move you out of the way. You can go there for now. For now. Next, we have Tales of Wedding Rings, volume 7. Oh my gosh, this is... It is, it is like properly ripped at the bottom. Wow, and the back is dirty and there's a whole bunch of stickers. Is it anything? The inside looks fine. Okay, so the inside looks fine. It doesn't even look that yellowed. I'm not going to show you the colour picture on the inside because <laughs> that's not safe for work. To be fair, the cover's barely safe for work. But it's worse than that. That's what I'm saying. It looks worse than that. This is an isekai. I actually did a little mini review on this in my random recommendation video where I just randomly picked a series off my spreadsheet using random number generator and talked about the series and this was one of them. I wouldn't rush to recommend this if you're interested in isekai. This is more like hardcore, you want some busty girls isekai. This guy's been transported and basically told to save the world, you need to get with all the princesses in the kingdom. And he's like, if I must. <laughs> it's sort of the gist of the story. I have volumes 1 and 8, oh, and now volume 7, because they're quite a bit more expensive. They're yen press and they're bigger volumes. I've started to buy them second hand because it's cheaper. And gosh, they're so dirty. I'm going to definitely wipe that one down. Shame about the rip in the cover. That's probably one of the first times I've had a proper rip. If I'm careful maybe I'll hold that down. I don't know how. We'll see. Okay. Next we have Kingdom Hearts. Oh dear. Kingdom Hearts Volume 3. Now I think I made a mistake buying this one I got confused and didn't realise that it had originally been printed by Tokyo Pop and it had been reprinted by Yen Press more recently and in hindsight I should have not bought the Tokyo Pop and just held off and bought the Yen Press ones. 
This is very yellowed. I think it didn't get finished publishing. I don't think Tokyo Pop finished publishing it because they went under part way through. Um, oh gosh, there's, <laughs> there's like, this belonged to a kid. There's like some writing on the inside. Someone's working out there. Four times table on the inside of a manga volume. You don't, de you didn't deserve this volume. There's a strange sticker saying pesky price sticker underneath. Let's have a look what's under that. Oh, that's. Uh, come on, you're not coming away that easily, are you? This was sold for a pound. I don't think I paid a pound, but I think I paid a bit more than that. I think I paid a couple of pounds. Oh, there's a 35 pence sticker underneath. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine being able to buy manga for 35p? So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this volume. There might be a couple more Kingdom Hearts. I wish I'd looked into it before I bought them and I was trying to fill out my spreadsheet with the information about the series, but it wasn't a huge amount spent, so I'm not too heartbroken. Now we have Behind the Scenes Volume 5, so I have 1 through 5 and then Volume 7, so I'm only missing Volume 6, which is exciting. This is a decent quality volume, there's a couple of scuffs on the back, but the spine's not creased. It's definitely been read because it's like popping up a bit. It's not that yellowed at all, that's not too bad. There's no holes in the cover or a kid doing their times tables. <laughs> Next we have Overlord Volume 11. I was really excited to see some Overlord on World of Books. You don't often see this. I think this was £4.50 and it retails about £11.99 at Forbidden Planet. So this was about a third the price. Oh my gosh, yes. And that's Volume 11. 11 that looks that looks decent that looks decent a bit curved but that might have just been how it was stored or packed in the parcel it's bit, actually it's a bit crumpled on the back but it's still not too bad that's quite good i have one through six at the moment and there's only 12 or 13 volumes out so far that's it plus there's the the light novel series but i Keep those separately to the manga. Let's see what's in this one. This is a smaller one. Do we have? Ooh, it's hefty. So next we have the Rising of Shield Hero Light Novel Volume Two. This was pretty cheap, actually. It was like five pounds. And the light novels usually oh there's no price on this one and because i'm now all caught up on the manga and i'm quite sad about that because i really enjoyed the manga i decided to give the light novel a biggish go because i need some shield hero intake and so far i've not been that impressed by the reprise of spear hero i enjoyed volume one of the reprise of spear hero but i wasn't bothered by volume two so I will keep reading it but it's not giving me the fill that I wanted from Shield Hero. Um, but yeah, they're really thick. Goodness. Okay. okay so let's do this one. This is actually a Music Magpie parcel. Um, the, uh, the only one all the rest are pretty much world of books. They all use this like strange plastic packaging that feels way too thin to hold manga. So first we have Niskite volume 9. I had bought 1 through 6 and then I started buying them second hand and I've bought like 4 or 5 since. Do I have them close? Oh they're up there, I can't see what numbers I've got. But this is volume 9, this has about 25 volumes, I think, and as we always with longer series, I like to 
buy what I can find, especially if it's second hand because it makes it feel a lot less painful <laughs> buying them that way. Uh, next we've got School Rumble Volume 3. This is a, oh that's actually got a rip on the spine, no! This is a very out of print series. I didn't realise that when I first started picking it up. I picked up volume one, I think. I was at uni, I think. So a good four or five years ago. Because I'd watched some of the anime and enjoyed it, so I decided to try the manga. And I wish at the time I'd picked up all of it because it was available then, but now it's not. So I'm trying to find what I can. I can't remember how many I've got. Nope, they're not visible. I can't quite see from here, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to collect all of this. It would be neat if I can. It's, I can't remember what that publisher is. What is that publisher? Does it say on the inside? Tanoshimi, Tanoshimi. Yeah, that's not too bad. Oxfam, $3.99. Besides, there's a rip over the author's name on the spine, which is bit of a shame but with an older series like this I'm not too surprised. Are there any ripped out pages? I've had quite a few with ripped out pages. No, no ripped out pages. Okay. Right, what else is in here? We have got Missions of Love Volume 6. There's actually a few of these volumes in this somewhere. I decided to give this a go because there was a whole bunch on sale and that's like someone's giving me a sign to try this series and volume 6 is one of the ones I picked up. All of them I bought for less than £4.50. Can't remember exactly how much this one was. I believe it's a high school romance but I will find out more when I read it. They all look like they've got slightly different colour spines so I am impressed and happy with that. Next we have Missions of Love Volume 5 and it's orange! Yep, so that's another one. I can't remember how much that one was either. Yeah. See? A sign. Then we have got Dragon Ball Z Volume 19. My, I was going to say my last haul. The last haul that I premiered as of right now had a lot of Dragon Ball Z in it but it will have been my last second hand haul. Had a lot of Dragon Ball Z in it. I did nearly d decide to pick up the box set instead, just forgetting the fact that I had two volumes, but then I started seeing a whole bunch pretty cheap, slightly cheaper than if I bought the box set, so I just had to keep buying singles second hand. So this was like £3, and I'm just going to keep rolling with it. I'm over halfway collected now, so hopefully it won't be too much longer and then I can read it all, though I haven't got all of Dragon Ball yet, I'm missing five volumes of that before I can read. Back to the end, and then I've got, no matter how you look at it, it's you guys' fault I'm not popular, volume 6. I have volume 1 and I quite enjoyed it. I don't often see this come on sale or second hand, so I jumped at buying volume 6 even though I don't have 2, 3, 4, 5. They're also quite thin, so buying them cheap really appeals. This again was less than £4.50. It's not that yellowed, it's a bit battered. There's some gunk on the back and it's smudged the spinal a little bit, that's not, that's not too bad, cool. So that's the Music Magpie parcel done, the rest I think is now World Books, let's pick another one. Okay. I kind of like it when they send them in big cardboard boxes but maybe that costs more and it's not as fast, I don't know. Right, so next we have Demon Love Spell Volume 4. I received Volume 1 in my man 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 Manga Care Package collab that I did with Himika and Geeky Dreams and I did quite enjoy it though I was greatly amused by our main dude's pointy chin. Like, I felt like he was just going to keep stabbing her in the head when he got near her 
but I did quite enjoy it and I wanted to pick up some more but I don't often see them on sale or I didn't see them in Forbidden Planet or did I see them in Forbidden Planet? I can't remember now but yeah this was quite cheap so I've grabbed it out of order I don't think it's a particularly long series six or seven volumes is what's springing to mind but I would need to check before I could say for sure also colourful spines purple and volume one was red that's neat Sheffield Space Center. Why is Sheffield Space Center selling manga? That's strange. Okay, next we have Peach Fuzz no, Volume 1. I don't know much about it at all except it was £2 something and I thought why not give it a go. Wait, I'm very confused. Why is it? What? Why is it left to right? I don't understand. What? Is this an English manga? As in English authors? What have I bought? Oh gosh. Apparently it's only got three volumes. I really don't know much about it beyond that. Maybe that was a mistake. It actually looks really good quality. An old Tokyo Pop volume. There's no crease. There's a bit of battering on the corners. Okay. What have I bought? <laughs> I'll find out when I read it, I guess. Okay, next we have Defrag Volume 5. Retail, $12.99. I didn't pay that. This was, again, I think the most, I think I paid, I don't think I paid more than £5 a volume for any of these besides one or two, which I'll point them out. I think one of them might have been, no, not the Overlord, because that was four pounds fifty. Okay, I think there might only be one that I know I paid. Oh, wait. I can't remember now. I've confused myself. Anyway, Defrag Volume 5, as I said, harder to find. It's seven seas. It doesn't look like it's getting reprinted at the moment. So I'm grabbing what I can. They seem to be popping up like at a steady amount on secondhand sites. I've noticed Volume 12, which I've already grabbed, is appearing on all of them and it's really cheap. It was like £2.60 when I looked at World of Books last time, which is crazy. But Wow, goodness. What else, what else do we have in here? Oh, that's that's a big a big boy. Dot Hack Another Birth Volume 1. So I've been enjoying my Dot Hack manga. This is like the precursor to Sword Art Online and it seems to just have as many side stories as Sword Art Online manga does. It is like transported into a game. Oh no, what? This is a light novel? Dang it! I've made a mistake. Oh well. I'll still read it, but... <sighs> I was looking at going, shouldn't Tokyo Pop be on the other side? <sighs> oh well. <sighs> Lies. Well, that'll have to come off my manga spreadsheet then and go on to the light novel one. <sighs> Onto the floor. That was like... I think that was like exactly two pounds. It was cheap as heck. That one. It's parcel. We have got. Is that a pepper set? Eh? That's not a packing set. advertisements. What? I don't need razors. I don't want investments. What is that? That is strange. I've never gotten one of those before. Ugh. Okay, well in the manga, that's all I care about. Okay. The site Behind the Scenes Volume 6. So I am now series complete for this. Oh, it's such a wonderful feeling to complete a series. I'm just so excited. That's actually a really good volume. Um, the pages are a bit uneven but that's more a printing issue than a care issue and the front corners are a bit crumpled but not much. The spine looks fine. The spine looks good. Wonderful. Absolutely great. 
those behind the scenes five five and six that's complete series complete i need like a klaxon series complete klaxon next we have idle dreams volume two i have volume one which i also bought as, bought as part of a second hand haul this is just a shoujo it's like i haven't read volume one yet actually but this was cheap really cheap 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 and it is the same author as something and i can't remember what i can't remember for the life of me what it is the same author as uh what is it i want to say the frozen manga but i know that the frozen manga is the same author as something else again but i can't remember what it'll, it'll come to me it'll come to me i'll remember oh, it looks a bit better than oh no that's just the edging never mind next we have missions of love volume one so i can actually read a bit of the series before getting stuck at volumes five and six that's actually uh it looks creased at the bottom but again that might have been the postage it's pretty yellow on top actually but it doesn't really it's not really that yellow on the inside cool a uh, couple more in this one next we have rosario vampire season two volume six. Oh no it's a library copy and it's the worst kind of library copy where they put this like plastic sticker along the inside usually you can remove them they're not horrendous to remove you just need to sit there super carefully and slowly peel it back because otherwise you can't get these off the spines and that drives me insane oh i can't even pronounce that library that doesn't look like a real word <laughs> might go look up where that is uh, well i am a good way to collecting this whole series it's just taking a slow time because i'm buying almost everything second hand i don't think i own a single new volume from that series <laughs> finally i have rwby red like roses i keep seeing this one around i don't really know anything about it at all but it was cheap it was four pounds fifty cheap actually no this might have been one of the ones that was five pounds no 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 it was four pounds fifty it was four pounds fifty uh, yeah i know nothing about it except there's a whole bunch of different colored i think there's a purple one and a white one and a yellow one but that's it that is the extent of my knowledge on that series it doesn't have, the quality's not too bad the spine's good we've got a good spine there which is what i care about the most I don't want bouquets. Alright, manga, we have got Alice in the Country of Joker Volume 5. This looks like it's right up my street, though I haven't been able to find Volume 1 yet, so I've not actually been able to read it. It is sort of a fantasy isekai. It looks a bit reverse haremi, haremi, but again, I'm not sure yet. It's loosely based on loosely it's probably pretty based on alice in wonderland and there's a whole bunch of different ones so we've got alice in the country of joker and i'm fairly sure there's also in the country of clover the country of hearts but i'll find out when i can get to them this is published by seven seas and i think a bunch of the others were published by tokyo pop actually the quality is pretty good top's yellowed but the other sides aren't so maybe that was just sat somewhere for a good long while until it got to me. <laughs> Next we have Dragon Ball Volume 10, which I'm not sure it's been read, but it doesn't look like it's been kept well. The, sp the spine is quite crisp, but that's pretty yellow. And that there's a bad bend on that corner. Goodness. Oof. That's not a good bend. 
Ooh. Well, that's one step closer to completing Dragon Ball and then being able to read Dragon Ball Z. Next, we have Puella Magi Oriko Magica Volume 1. I have, I think this is my third Puella Magica Volume 1. I haven't actually completed any out of the ones I've already got, but these keep popping up pretty cheap, so I'm grabbing them. They look like I'll enjoy them, so but it'll be nice when I read them. It does look slightly red, I'm not sure if that's just the spine looks a bit worn instead. Only along the edge though, the actual spine itself doesn't look too bad, just the corner. A bit yellow on the top and the top of the side, but not much on the bottom, which yes, again, it had been left on a shelf somewhere. We'll see, we'll see. And we have the Demon Prince of Mochi House Volume 15, which has some really big creases on the cover. That's so hard to aim. Oh, I'm giving up now. Never mind. This is a complete series. There are 16 volumes and I'm missing, I think, four or five. I started buying them out of order when I see them on sale second hand, like I did with this one. I'm looking forward to getting to the end of it. I'm not sure it's been one of my favorite ones so far. I enjoyed the beginning and then I got a bit eh, towards the middle and then it started to pick up again. So I'm hoping to enjoy it more towards the end, but I'll need more volumes before I can know for sure. And the next last one in this package is Rosario Vampire Season 2 Volume 11. That's another one. This one isn't a library copy, there's just some massive sticker on the back over the barcode. Oh, there's another folder. Is this another? It's not another like swimsuit one from like the last time I did one of these. The quality doesn't look too bad. It definitely looks like it's been red. It's a bit crumpled here and a bit flicky up at the front, but the spine looks good, which is nice. Neat. Oh, actually, that's my thing. It feels a bit dirty. Get Me Not Volume 1. I hear some people saying good things about this series on Instagram, so I was stoked to be able to see it for a good price on World of Books, because now I can read it and not having to pay for the price. Yay. I think it's, is it a high school romance? I don't actually know. I'll find out when I read it. I do think it's a romance regardless. I think it's quite nice, they're quite nice covers, though actually her face is a bit freaky. But I've always seen the spines in Forbidden Planet and I've wanted to pick it up and I just haven't. So I'm happy to see it second hand for a good price because then that's given me like the kick that I needed. Next, we have The Gentleman's Alliance Cross Volume 8. This is another series complete. Series complete collection. I have bought all of these secondhand. I bought a whole bunch in one go, but I couldn't find volume eight. And then finally, it popped up on World of Books, so I grabbed it. And now I can read the whole series in one go. There's only, I think, eleven volumes. Oh, it's the same author that I was trying to remember earlier. Idle Dreams, also by the creator of Full Moon. That was it. I was trying to remember Full Moon. <laughs> Yes, excellent. Another series complete. How wonderful. A bit yellow on the top, otherwise it's a good spine. It's yellow on the bottom as well actually, and down the sides. That's really yellow. It's not too bad on the inside though, so that's cool. Neat a room. What's the next one in here? We have dot hack xxxx 
Now there is apparently a way of pronouncing it, I just can't remember what it is. Is this a light novel? No, this is a manga. <laughs> this is a manga. I think this is a newer one out of all of the Dot .hack mangas. Although if I look at the date that won't help me because it'll just be from a while ago. 2008, yeah that doesn't help me placing it in comparison to like the Legend of Twilight or Bracelet of Twilight, what's it called? Can't remember. Can't read it from here. Or dot gu plus. But yeah. That looks quite different compared to the other art styles. It looks so much cleaner as well. And it's matte. Matte. Nice. Cool. And should be not too hard to remove those stickers actually. That's also nice. Next we have Missions of Love Volume 3! A, a nice big crease down the back. Oh dear. Oh well. It's... Oh, It looks like there's a folded page in there. Right. There we go. Uh, oh dear. Let's fold you out and then close you carefully and then just... It'll get squashed on the shelf. That'll be fine, that'll be fine. So that wasn't too great, but it looks like it's folded out okay. It's still a bit yellow, but everything else looks okay. Neat. One, three, five, six of that series. Next we have D Grey Man Volume 9. This is actually quite wonderful because this now fills a gap. I have Yep, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11. So I have now pieced two of my volume groups together, which is so exciting. And I've only been buying this series secondhand, so all of these have been bought secondhand, even though I've bought out of order. I, uh, I actually finished reading volume one this morning, and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it way more than I thought I would. It's exorcists and creepy demons and Victorian style English dress wear. It's great. Cool, 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 cool. Ah, there's like 20 something volumes out at the moment and I think I have other volumes out of order. I've got about 16, 17. Ah. Let us open this one. How do I open this one nicely? Do that. Can I do that? I can. Yes, there we go. Let's go this way. Oh, it looks a bit yellowed already. Yep, okay, so we have volume ooh, ooh. volume one of Blood Lad, which is quite thick. I paid about five pounds something for this and I immediately noticed the s massive stain on the top and that is like, it's not even just like a dot that has seeped through the pages. Ugh, it's a bit grim actually. I mean, considering this retails in Forbidden Planet for about 18, 19 pounds, paying a quarter of the price, I don't, I don't, a stain is a bit gross but it's not the worst. It is quite yellow, though the spine doesn't look that bad. Some of the pages are a bit crumpled actually, but if I'm careful, if I, if I pull them out and line them up, they should be okay. But I have wanted to try this series for a while now, but I didn't want to pay the crazy prices. Uh, Forbidden Planet seems to have all of them in apart from volume one, but again, I wasn't sure 18 as part of a 3 for 2 is still quite expensive, so I might see if I can grab the rest secondhand instead, is what I'm going to try to begin with. I think there's nine of these, eight of them are like two volumes, so these were originally singles and they've started publishing them in omnibuses, so this has, or was it published in singles in Japan and then they published it straight into these in English, I'm not sure. But there are two volumes in this, so halfway through you can see the typical sort of thing they do when it's an omnibus, which is they do a colour page, which is usually the cover of the second volume when it was originally published. And then, so there's eight of them that are like this, and then there's a volume nine, which is just a single, because 
there was an odd number of volumes originally, I think. Yeah, cool. That's starting to teeter a bit, isn't it? Pull that a bit closer. I might have to stack the others like in front of me. Only two left and then we will be done. So next we have got more strange advertising. Uh, next we have got Overlord Volume 12. Again, this was I think between £4.50 and £5, which is crazy considering how new a release this is and Oh, that looks new. It's a, that looks new. Maybe red once. There's not yellowed, there's no crease, there's no nothing. Wow. Goodness me. We can go there. We start a new stack. Okay, next we have My Girlfriend's A Geek Volume 1. I've had Volume 2 for a while and obviously I've not been able to read it because I didn't have Volume 1, but now I have Volume 1. I think the main, like the girlfriend is meant to be like a Fujosh, Fujosh, Fujoshi. Um, this is I think quite a bit older. It's based on a light novel like, from my understanding. I wonder, I wonder if it's going to come across as problematic. <laughs> I suppose I'll find out when I read it. When did it publish? May 2010. Okay, so yeah, it's a bit older. It's quite a short series from my understanding, there's either four or five volumes, but it's meant to be like a slightly funny rom-com from what I've read. But I will I will see myself when I read it. Oh, this feels weird. Oh, okay, that's why. So this is Alice in the Country of Hearts, volume... volume... there's no number. Oh, there's a number. Volume 2. So this is the same sort of series it has Alice in the Country of Joker but it's in the Country of Hearts and it's Tokyo Pop which ages it instantly. Um, I'm trying to find what I find because I'd like to read it but because it's out of print it's going to be harder. It actually doesn't look too bad, the spine's fine, like the edges are a bit rough but it's not too bad. It doesn't even look that yellow to be honest. There's some remnants of a sticker on the back, which is what I felt, and I was like, that feels weird. And it's just that. Hopefully, it'll be easier to find the rest of them. I hope. <laughs> Next, we have Ori Sama Teacher Volume 12. So, I think, I've, yeah, I had Volume 16, didn't I? Maybe it's back here. Yeah, it is. It's like I've hidden it now. No. Ha ha ha. Volume, six, uh, volume 12, as I said, I'm buying what I can find because it's a longer running series and I want to try it, but I'm happy to pay less money <laughs> for it. That's empty. Ow. Um, yeah, one day I'll be able to read that. I think there's like 30 volumes in the series and I've now got like nine, <laughs> ten, and maybe a third the way through. Come on, last parcel, what have we got? What have we got? More weird advertising, okay. What else have we got? We have Alice in the Country of Hearts Volume 1. Oh, so I could actually read it, that's quite nice. Again, Tokyo Pop. There's another strange sticker remnant on the back. I assume the one and two were together. And yeah, not that yellow. Actually, this one looks like it had been red. It's a bit bent in the corners, but not too bad. I think the spines of the the Joker volumes look a lot prettier than the, the heart ones. Next, we have Monster Soul Volume 2. So this is another series complete. I'm fairly sure this is the last volume in the series. I think it's only a two. Yeah, this says it wraps it up. Yeah, two volumes. So this is the same author as Fairy Tale and Eden Zero and Rave Master. And it is only two volumes, as I keep saying. 
and I really, really liked volume one. Sometimes I struggle with shorter series, one shots to volume series. Are they able to establish a story quick enough for me to understand what's happening and then enjoy it before it's already finished? And I definitely think this was a series that managed to do that so far, having only read volume one. I just like, I, I understood the premise of what was happening, I understood some of the lore, and then I was quickly in the story, and I, I really enjoyed that, I liked that. So I was like, yes, get volume two, get volume two, get volume two. Now I've got volume two. It's like I need to get all of Hiram Shimmer's, my Shimmer's work. I need to try and find Rave Master, <laughs> that's the next goal. Goodness. Next, we have Anonymous Noise Volume 6. <laughs> I wonder where this one came from originally. Although I paid cheaper than three for two, I think it was four pounds, if not less than four pounds. I've only read volume one of this and I have one to four already. I wasn't sure about volume one so far. I want to read more. I also like that they're really brightly coloured rope spines, but I, it just felt overly dramatic from what I'd read. Maybe it'll calm down, maybe it'll get more dramatic, maybe I'll end up enjoying the drama. I don't know. Actually, that's a really good quality volume anyway. It's a bit creased, it's a bit creased there, it's a bit battered on that corner, but it's not yellowed at all. That's good. Nice. We're nearly done. There's only two left. Only two left. So we have another Kingdom Hearts potential mistake volume. This is a Tokyo Pop. This is, I think this is original Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, it is. Original Kingdom Hearts. That's really thin. Yeah, that's actually quite good quality. There's no writing in this one. But I, I, I wish I'd done my research a bit more and realized that it had been reprinted by Yam Press. But my bad, which means that this one is, yeah, this one's Kingdom Hearts Volume 2. Kingdom Hearts 2 Volume 1 which again was republished by Yen Press, so I might end up picking those instead. But I think I think they printed those into like omnibus or thicker volumes compared to the Tokyo Pop ones, but we'll, we'll see. Again that's not too bad, actually that's a bit yellow and it's quite creased in the bottom corner here, that's quite creased up there, but you can't see it as easily. <sighs> Silly me, silly me. Is that the last one? That is the last one. We're done. Let's even these out a little bit so I'm not gonna like hurt myself. Uh, come here. I seem to have a knack of doing hauls of like 41 volumes exactly. This it wasn't this wasn't purposefully planned, but goodness. Wow. Go me. I think potentially this state of some of these was is some of the worst ones I've had, like that Tales of Wedding Rings with an actual like cut in the cover and the Blood Lad with its stain on top. I don't even want to know what the stain is. Uh, no. <laughs> but I definitely have grosser feeling hands than I usually do in a second hand. I do a second hand haul, which is yucky. I need to wash my hands and wipe these down. <laughs> That's what I need to do. As I said at the beginning, this is the third of three hauls that I have recorded back to back in one go. If you haven't checked out the other two, be sure to do so where I unpack and unbox my pre-orders and new releases. I show what I bought from Forbidden Planet and Travelling Man. And then finally, I did this one and my throat is very sore now and I need to stop talking so I'm just gonna say thank you so much for joining me if you've liked these videos be sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be doing so many more hauls and I have a whole bunch of other videos planned as well and also remember to like the video and leave a comment on what you think of the state of the secondhand manga do you think it's acceptable would you be happy with the state of these what would you do if you got a manga with a stain like that on it let me know because uh, bleh, bleh. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!